Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ula and I'm going to show you how you can change things around your house, how to uh, repaint them and bring them to the new light. In my previous tutorial, I show you a few things I did recently as well as years ago. And, but today I'm going to concentrate on that beauty. It's my baby. And I got, bought this in an antique store oh, almost two years ago and uh, cost me a little under 300. It wasn't cheap, but I was looking for something like that for years. I always want a classic furniture. I love them. They are very distinguished when they stand in your, when they, um, in your house, right? So it was a brown color and uh, I, just, I repainted. Um, I'm afraid I don't have a lot of videos to show how I actually did it. The reason is simple, I have them, but they are not able to actually um, edit them on the because they are in a different format, something like that. My computer is having an issue recently, so I'm not able to really show you, but I will show you, and I may have it, how it, that piece of furniture looked like before. And I can t I'm going to tell you in the, like a short how it actually was done. So first of all, you have to clean the furniture, right? You have to remove things. You have to put the table around to make sure you really know the paint won't go any on the, uh, on the glass. So this is what I did, you know, the handles, and I used two coats of paint. First one was the regular one, and then I used spray the second. I just want to make sure it's evenly put, and it will be smooth and nice. So this is what I did. Um, then, of course, I didn't distress this. Actually, I, I put, used the chalk method. I put the chalk paint with the black. It looks really nice. I like it. When you see that, like I see it, it's really, really nice. And uh, look at this. It's just because what I like it, it's those legs. It's standing on the long legs. This is a drawer which I keep my things. Mostly, most of my things, sorry, is just the collection. And I either got them, somebody gave it to me, or I found them in a antique store, like the collections of the uh, China, China cups. They are from all different places, beautiful. And there's some things that I found on a thrift store actually recently, which I'm going to actually show you in a minute, because I love them, of course. But the only one thing I think I bought is this temperature egg on Amazon. It's just beyond how beautiful <laughs> those things are, right? You know that probably. And yes, so this is how uh, it turns out. It's really, it's really, it changes the room completely. It was a brown and it was just like a boring. I don't like that, right? And this is what I happened to um, make recently. To me, uh, two days, I think. Yeah, two days. You have to. First, you put the right the first paint. Yeah, I just I uh, laid it, and then outside I had to take that outside. So I did that a few weeks ago when the weather was still okay, and um, I'm happy that I did before uh, you know winter because it was just in my ideas in the springtime. But I had a few other things to do, a smaller one, and I decided in summer to do it because I knew that. There will be outside job as well to do that. So this is how it looked like. Here we go. This one I actually bought in the thrift store. It's a cool idea. It's really nice. And um, I hope you're gonna have some ideas. It's simple. Paint uh, white and black. White. Just put the two coats of paint, and then chalk paint. You just gonna smog a little bit with a brush very gently don't overdo it like I did in my kitchen cabinet I just had to when I just dip it the brush in the can I just had to make sure on the paper on the newspaper I just have to brush it off and leave it just a little to make sure I'm not gonna overdo it because it's supposed to look like that my kitchen cabinet is a little overdone I'm not gonna change it really maybe I'm not sure but this one is just 
perfect. So, hopefully you enjoy it and see you, see you next time. Sorry, bye. Okay, so I'm going to show you up close what I have in this cabinet. What exactly I have to, this is the Fabergé egg, which I, you know, you just keep the, sorry, there is a, you can put that up in a minute. And those are the cups I found in the antique stores or thrift store. Actually, there is a few of them thrift store, I believe. This is the thrift store and this one. Um, that collection came, I mean collection, that piece came from back home. And this is Moroccan train. This is Moroccan tray. Beautiful. That little thing, it's a thrift store. I love it. <laughs> the size is amazing. You can just have a one cup of tea lying in it and that's it. This is another uh, treasure hunt. It's it's a cup, Christmas cup. I keep it right now here because I just bought this along with this little thing. And I'm just gonna keep it for now in this cabinet. This one was unused, it was still packed and it was in a trister for a few bucks. So you have that fully display, right? It's like that. You can keep your jewelry here if you want, but it's beautiful. This is I bought in the Amazon recently actually. This is how my collection look like right now. Uh, probably will be more to come. It depends what I can find or yeah, what I can actually find. This little heart was handmade by my sister. She's supposed to be that way. Yes. On the top, uh, since uh, we are right now on the cabinet, it's uh, this nice handmade tray. Um, I bought that from brought not bought it from Florence, Italy. My sister bought it for me. It's a handmade. This is like I mentioned uh, is from thrift store again, a few bucks. Those two actually are from Pakistan. Twenty years ago, somebody gave it to me as a present. I think it's a copper, something like that. So yes, I brought that. I mean, I hang this over that cabinet. Most of my things are actually as a gift. I like to have things around my house, which actually I found and renovate because it looks more, as gives more value to it. Oh, uh, since we are here, this is how it looked like, see? Oh, it's really nice. Very gentle brush, which I find. Isn't that beautiful? I like it. I really like it. Okay, uh, so I'm back. Now I'm gonna go back to the those that tape I was just showing you, and what I'm going how I'm going to do that. So I pre-cut this this little I mean elastic that length and i i'm gonna because every jar is different so i have to measure every jar so it's going to uh it's about that length right so half of almost has to be stretched this is how i like it i'm gonna show you how actually i did it here we go this is how and look it's pretty simple like i said just sew the two things together so what i will do it I'm gonna show you, I don't know how. So this is the the tape, that tape, and I'm just gonna leave like one centimeter uh, room for to sew. And that, I'm gonna put the like, hold it. And I need to stretch. I need to stretch this elastic till I can't stretch. Okay, so, and this is how much, how long that tape will be. Now, I have to cut and I'm going to cut a little more because I again I need a room so and this is how it is right so on each side there is about 
one centimeter because I have to sew that on. And then now, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to do zigzag. I'm going to do zigzag. I have a thread, which is too big actually for this, but that's okay. Uh, this color, which is kind of blends in this. I'll show you. Yes, so um, it's going to sew that. And I'm going to use a zigzag instead of straight um, stitch. Um, so let's see how it's going to turn out this one, right? And I'm going to do for each like that. So what I'm really going to do, which is the best, not to lose the which jar goes which uh, right uh, tail, um, elastic, the length. So let me do that. And then again, I have to do again this one. So Okay, so I'm done with the jars. They are all back in the tea cabinet. Now I just pre cut this piece of the, the piece of white fabric, it's a cotton. So I pre cut that and I'm gonna just sew for this pillow I was telling you, right? So let's do it, flip it, put it, and what I'm just this is the stuffing. It's a very simple, right? We have a pillows from that. So this is what I'm gonna use it, this kind of thing. It's just decorative fill, so it really doesn't matter what is in it, right? So let me do that. And then we'll see how, I just am uh, thinking about, I have to make uh, this one a little even, because it's not. I just put the different thread. This one's better because it goes this way, right? You know, it goes flat. Will give you, it's going more smoothly. The other one was a little tough nut. So let's see, I'm just thinking which side, and I think I'm gonna start with this side. It's a very straight stitch, simple, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so I didn't show you how I was doing, but that's simple, right? You just start so the, uh, that hole, that you know, piece of uh, fabric that you leave. And this is how my pillow look like. Simple, right? That's it. So thank you for watching me and hopefully you're gonna stick with me for my next tutorial. In my next tutorial, I have something else. There's a frame that I hopefully I can order a board and I'm going to show you what exactly uh, it's going to be in that frame. I, I think I mentioned in my first tutorial that there is a frame I, which I found in an antique store and there's a picture which my sister did. So she's, I'm going to display that and but I'm going to show you how it's going to look like. See you next time.